Hey, what's up? This is Adam from Switchboard. And in this video, I want to try and show you the Switchboard Canvas API. So to do that, um, what I've done is I've made this template. It's kind of like a conference pass or a conference badge, I guess. Um, it just has some nonsense information on it, a picture. Uh, but crucially, it has a photograph and the name of a delegate, somebody that would be attending the conference. And I want to use the API to kind of quickly show you how you can replace uh, the data on this image and create new images uh, by re by replacing the data with, um, with new data, with new information. Um, so we need a couple of things to do that. And the first thing we need is uh, some way of calling the API. <clears throat> Excuse me. Now, if um, you have access to a, uh, a developer resource, then this is something that um, can be done programmatically. Somebody can write code to call the API. But you can also get tools that can call an API um, just from your computer. And one of those tools, uh, very popular, is Postman. These are affectionately known as REST clients. They're called REST services or APIs. That's basically just sending some data and um, sort of having a look at what the response is. Another one is Insomnia. Um, this is my personal favorite. They're both very similar. They pretty much do exactly the same thing. Um, but for the demo um, today, I just want to use uh, Postman. And um, I've got something set up here, but I'm going to reset this and, and start from scratch. So in addition to um, a REST client, what we need from Switchboard is, uh, once the template has been designed, is the API key. Now, the API key ties uh, your account on Switchboard and your templates to the API requests that uh, you're making, the API requests that are coming in. Um, so we copy the API key and uh, we put that into Postman. So the API key comes in uh, to the headers section, or we enter in the headers section. Um, what we need to do is we need to use this uh, term X API key. And then the value here, we actually paste um, the API key. Uh, that ties it to our Switchboard Canvas account. Now we're sending some information to the API. We are in fact posting some data. So in this term or verb here, we drop this list down and choose post. And then we enter the Switchboard Canvas uh, URL. So that is HTTPS uh, API.Canvas.Switchboard.AI. Okay, so we've got the URL, we've set it to post, and we've put the API key in. The next thing we need to do is tell it exactly what we want to send. Now we do that uh, by sending uh, a JSON, a JSON here, this is JavaScript object notation. This is um, really just some text that gets sent to the API that tells it what we want to do. And in this case, we want to call our conference pass a template and create an image from it. So, as I said, we specify the template name, conference pass. We just jump back into switchboard here. Uh, you can see the API name of each template that you have is on this screen here. So back in Postman, we specify template, conference pass. And then what we can do is specify a number of sizes. Now the sizes are the resolutions that the images will be created in and depending on the tier of canvas uh, product that you are subscribed to you can create up to five images per request um, but for this uh, example i will just do one for now anyway 1080 and i'll set the height here to 1080 as well so this is really all we need now we can send this request to Canvas and give that a couple of seconds and Canvas will create, uh, if we jump in here, an image 
and this is a pretty much exactly like the template that we created. Um, I'm going to go back into Postman. I'm going to add another size specification here. This time I'm going to do 1080 by 1530. So this is a bit taller than uh, the original and therefore I think a little bit more like a conference pass typical size. So when we look at this one it's kind of resized everything. The templates in Canvas can be set up so that they are largely responsive. You can pin elements uh, to edges of the screen, you can pin elements to other elements so things stay in place depending on the size of the image that you create. Uh, okay, so now what I'm going to do is instead of multiple sizes I'm just going to come back to one size and now what I'm going to do is specify new data uh, for some of those elements that are on that are, that are in the design. So the first thing I'm going to do um, is change the name uh, of the delegate. So that element in the design in the template is called delegate. I'm going to come in and override the text property, and I'm going to specify a new name. Say Anna Delaney. I don't know where that came from, but it's as good as any name. And then another thing I'm going to do is change her photo or the photo that's in in the template there. I'm going to specify a new URL for the photo. And I did steal one from Unsplash earlier, and I've got a little shortcut to it to Anna. Um, and so we'll send this. Give this a couple of seconds, it will fetch uh, a new photo for Anna and we've, and we've changed the name and now we've got a brand new image uh, based on that information. But the last thing I want to show uh, you is in the template here. There is a little warning at the bottom, please display your conference pass at all times. And what I want to demonstrate super quick is the ability to translate text on the fly. Uh, so this um, note in the corner, the element is called note in the, in the template, and I want to use or translate this text into Italian. So I'm using IT which is the country code for Italian, and if we send this, give this a couple of seconds, what we should see is the note here in the bottom right corner uh, translated uh, into Italian. So hopefully that's a um, quick example as how to use the API with uh, Postman to call Switchboard Canvas. Um, in an ideal world, if you have access to a development resource, they can do this sort of thing for you programmatically, but we are in the age of no code tools, uh, Zapier. If you have a Zapier account, you can connect Canvas to more than 3,000 other tools and services, things that you are probably already using, such as Google Sheets and Airtable, messaging apps like Slack and Discord, really anything that contains data that you already use, you can plug into Canvas. And certainly in the case of conference passes, you would probably want to connect this to a database of delegates that you that you already have. Um, so I hope that was useful. Thanks for joining me and I'll see you on the next one.